In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a salicylic acid toner and this toner is going to help cleanse your pores. So if you have oily skin, you have oily pores, your pores are always clogged with, you know, dead skin, um, acne, blackheads, sebum and all of those disgusting stuff. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own salicylic acid serum or toner at home. And this will not only help to unclog your pores and, you know, remove all the unnecessary sebum. The sebum is actually oil that your skin produces. This is not only going to help clear all that. It's also going to help you um, regenerate your skin. It's going to help give you a brighter complexion. So if you're trying to lighten your skin, this is a good toner that will help to exfoliate your skin and it is safe enough to use every day. Now, if you are just seeing this channel for the first time, hi, <laughs> my name is Sele Kalio and I am the Nigerian based skincare DIY specialist. I create weekly videos on skincare DIYs, product reviews. I teach you how you can start your own skincare business and how you can, you know, scale up your existing skincare business. Now, if this is something that you are interested in and you like to improve your skincare knowledge genuinely, not going through the back corners, genuinely learn about skincare ingredients and learn how to use them and create beautiful products for yourself or for your customers then you definitely want to hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you turn on your post notifications so whenever i post a new video you are notified and make sure you give my videos thumbs up comments just engage with the videos so that i know that you guys appreciate what i'm doing and i will keep coming back to give you some more okay and if you're a returning subscriber woof woof thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much my lovelies i really appreciate you guys and without any further ado I'm going to show you how to make this amazing, amazing serum that I have been obsessing about. So first I have my salicylic acid that I have been trying to dissolve in propendyl. Now you can use propendyl or propylene glycol or you can use ethanol. Um, salicylic acid is very poorly soluble in water, so you want to dissolve it this way, which I will talk about later in the future in this video. Now you want another beaker that you will use for your water phase. We have two phases for this pro um, product and we're going to be pouring our water into the beaker and yeah. So now I'm going to add citric acid. Now, what citric acid does here is to keep the salicylic acid from recrystallizing. And now you know that salicylic acid is very, very insoluble in water. Like it, it has a very low solubility in water. So to keep the salicylic acid um, suspended in the water and clear, we need citric acid. But if you have sodium citrate, that is even perfect. Now, the difference between... Um, sodium citrate and citric acid is that sodium citrate contains sodium as the cation whereas citric acid contains hydrogen as the cation so um, if you have citric acid it's even better you will have a clearer um, product but my sodium citrate is far from me i have citric acid close by so i'm going to use citric acid mix that in thoroughly and make sure it is well dissolved and you will have a clear um, liquid afterwards now i'm going to go ahead and also add sodium bicarbonate and this is also known as baking soda that you use to make your um, breads and all of that pastry stuff so we're using it here as a buffer for our solution because this tends to you know um, increase the ph of a product or it can also help to reduce the pH of a product, depend on how you're using it. But in this formula, we're using it here as a buffer for our solution. This will also help to stabilize the, the salicylic acid and make it um, 
usable or friendly to your skin so after all the fours and bubbles this is what you get a very clear solution now we are going to incorporate our salicylic acid into our other phase to create a beautiful solution okay so now i'm going to pour in my salicylic acid solution in this container i have my salicylic acid and propendal like i said earlier you can dissolve your salicylic acid in propendal propylene glycol ethanol or vegetable oil now um, if you can't find um, propendal or propylene glycol you can actually use vegetable oil but then you will have to incorporate an emulsifier into this product to bind the oil and the water together now if you have had any difficulties or any experience at all with salicylic acid leave your comment in the comment section i would like to know your experience and how you were able to get your salicylic acid to dissolve easily or difficult for you to dissolve if that makes sense now salicylic acid is very notorious for being difficult to to dissolve so i'm really curious and i like to know your thoughts and how you maneuvered your way around using salicylic acid so now i'm going to pour the salicylic acid and the propendal that i have dissolved into the water phase and you see how clear it becomes as you can see it makes it clear so now you can stop here and just add your preservative check your ph and let it go but i'm going to go further and show you other things that i incorporated into this serum you must understand that the ph of your um finished product or your final product is very very important and if your ph is not properly balanced you're going to have recrystallization so the trick for that is to have your baking soda and your sodium citrate or secret citric acid sodium citrate is gotten from citric acid right but they are not the same they have different chemical compounds now citric acid and sodium citrate have different um cations citric acid has um hydrogen and sodium citrate has sodium acid cation so that's it if you're in chemistry if you're in chemistry class you would understand this i did arts so <laughs> i will it, it will be a very a handful for me to try to explain that so yeah this is our product as you can see we don't have any crystallization and that's thanks to the trick that i showed you earlier now at this point you can go ahead to add your um your preservatives now you can use a Jamal Plus preservative. I always use Jamal Plus preservative because I feel like it is a broad spectrum preservative. It has negative and positive gram prote um, bacteria protection and it is very, very easy to source as well. So I like to use it and it is water. It accommodates um, water solubility. So it is a very versatile preservative to use and most of all, it is easy for you to source this particular material. So I'm using it here. And I'm also going to be using Silly Gel. Now, to give this product an aesthetic, to give it a beautiful feel on the skin, especially if you want to just pat this on on your skin without using the cutting pads, I'm going to show you this particular ingredient or material that I have been obsessing over. Now, I'm going to be using Silly Gel, and Silly Gel is a natural gelling agent that leaves an amazing silicone like um, skin feel. So, um, it, it doesn't leave the tackiness that comes with other kinds of gel like Xanthan gum or Goa gum. It is very, very easy to use. You don't have to pre disperse it in glycerin or any other um sol solvent it is very very easy you just put it into the water phase and you are good to go it doesn't leave all that clumpiness that um xanthan gum and all the other types of gum leave so it is very very easy to use and it's also cold process and yeah so i'm going to use that just to create that jelly effect and to create that beautiful skin feel for this product now, if you don't have silly gel, you can definitely use carbomar, you can use zansan gum, you can use goa gum, you can use any other gelling agent that you want to use. You can even use hyaluronic acid, but I'm using um, 
um, silly gel because I just wanted to introduce this product to you and let you know the benefits and the beauty of this product okay so now I am going to cover this beautiful product with foil you can use any other thing that you have to cover it you don't have to use foil but I have foil so I'm using this to cover it so I don't have particles dirt debris whatever falling into it while i wait for it to properly hydrate and you know get ready for me to pour it into my container okay so i'm going to leave this maybe a few hours or even overnight and before i come back to pour it into my container now before i do that let's talk a bit about um salicylic acid right what does salicylic acid do to your skin now Topical um, salicylic acid tends to treat acne by reducing swelling and redness and unclogging or unplugging blocked skin pores to allow pimples to shrink. So there are many skin conditions that can be treated with salicylic acid and this includes acne, dark spots and the reason why um, it is so effective is that it's not only an anti-inflammatory um, product or an antibacterial product, but it's also um, keratolytic. Now, what this means is it can break down the outer layer of the skin and decrease um, the thickness of um, psoriatic plagues. Uh, what this generally means is it removes dark spots and breaks down keratin. That's it. So that is why this product is a sought after um product it is more and it is more intense than its counterpart that are the lactic lactic acid which are, are has um salicylic acid is also or actually a beta hydroxy acid and it works it is more stronger than the other kinds of acids like the alpha hydroxy acid and all so if you are if you have a sensitive skin it is best you use this um, with caution, but it is very, very effective. Okay, so I just wanted to explain that. Now I'm going to cover this and wait for it to dissolve completely. Okay, so it actually has been a few days and I'm going to um, bottle this product. I'm going to be using this beautiful um, container. And like I said, this is going to be a face um, toner so i put it in this container so it's easy for me to put it on my cutting pad and use it to just clean my face but you can definitely use this as a serum as a toner that you can just pat on your face and let it dry before you continue your other um, stages that's you know your serum your moisturizers your oils and all of that essence and all so i'm going to use this container to put it make sure you're putting it in a container that is easy for you to apply and because it is a water-based product you want to be careful with bacteria and all of that so you want to make sure you are using a container that is easy and safe for you to use the product so i'm just going to pour that you can see how clear the product has become very beautiful now like i said you can skip the gum and just use it like that but i'm a little extra so i like to you know do more so i went ahead to add the gum and it is very beautiful as you can see it is clear it is um beautiful it has the ceramic consistency and i just love it and i'm going to enjoy this product now if you have watched up to this extent thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video please take this time to subscribe down below hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time i put out the new video and also make sure you leave your comments ask your questions what do you think about this product Will you be making this product? Have you tried any salicylic product before? Let me know in the comment section. Um, do you have difficulties dissolving this product? Let us discuss in the comment section. I'm very, very happy to, you know, help in any way that I can. Make sure you share this video. Um, that way people get to see it. And make sure you are just basically interacting with this video because this will help YouTube 
algorithm see that this product or this channel is something that people love and they will keep pushing this channel and that way i will get more views and more views equals more quality content okay so make sure you are interacting in the comment section you're liking this video and you're sharing this video as well thank you so much guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe i'm going to come up with more products that are you know beneficial to you guys if you have any ideas on products that you want me to make please leave a comment in the comment section or any other video topic that you want me to talk about please leave your comments in the comment section and i will be very very glad to make those videos for you once again thank you so much for watching and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video bye <laughs> Just a face Now I understand I learned it first hand